Jeff Gibbons here with another machine tutorial on send effects. So this video is going over send effects, which is an important concept to understand. And it goes back to the early days of recording where you would have one reverb device that was available to every channel on your mixing board. And the benefit of that was the cost. You only had to buy one reverb. And the other benefit was that once you set everything out to this one reverb, you could just control that one reverb, control the levels on it, make the room sound bigger, make the room sound smaller, set the EQ on it, whatever you wanted to do. And the benefit of that is it's gonna change for every track. So if you go through and only add reverb to every group or sound in machine, as an insert effect, in other words, you go to this sound and you click the plus button and you add a reverb to this one group and you set it one way and then you go to this group and you add a reverb to it and so on and so forth. What you're going to do is you're going to have different reverbs on every single group or every single sound. And that's okay if that's exactly what you want, but you couldn't later then say, I want to take the sound of this reverb and make the room smaller. You'd have to go do that individually on every single track. So the benefit of using send effects in machine is that you create one effects group and you route a portion of each group or each sound to that effects group. And then you can go and change the sound of that reverb in that effect group and it will change for every single group that's going to this effect. It also is a little bit easier on your processor, not that that's an issue with our modern computers, but these are the benefits of using send effects. So the biggest one of all is just creating a reverb that has a sound for your entire project and every track can choose how much of their track gets sent to this reverb. So that's where the term send effect comes from. So let's have a look at how we do that. We go over to our project and this is a little project I was showing in my insert effects video. I want to set up a reverb that all of these different groups can access. And the way to do that is to go to an empty group and you click on the empty group itself. And from this point here, what I'm going to recommend you do is you click the sound button. So you click the sound button. We're not going to load anything just yet. And the next thing we're going to do is hit shift and the browser. And if we do that, up pops this ability to load an effect onto this first sound. And you'll see why later. You can also do it just as a group and that's fine as well. That's another way to do it. So I now click over to the type of effect that I want and I want an effect. I want my internal vendor. I'm just going to use the internal ones for now. And I'm going to go over to reverb and I'm going to click load. So now I've got a reverb on this sound, on sound number one. We can see it right here. It says reverb. I'm going to be able to send a portion of every one of my groups to this one sound to get reverb on it. So let's just leave that reverb on right there. I'm going to change it to hall, make it a little bit bigger, and then just leave everything else the way it is. Okay. So that's set up just fine. Now the next is where things get a little confusing. You might want to write this down. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to one of our groups. So let's go to this group right here, which is my keys. And we can hear it's got some delay on it. Maybe I'll just turn that off for now, just so you can really hear the reverb. So if you watch my insert video, you'll see that I press shift and bypass. And now I am hearing just the hybrid keys track here. So the next thing I need to do to add reverb as a send effect on this instrument is to go over to this channel button. And it's probably one you haven't touched yet. And you click this channel button and we can see for this sound that we're on, which is this piano, I can see that I've got things like the output and the input. So all I have to do is make sure I go over to this output button. And the first thing you see right here is auxiliary one and auxiliary two. So we can have two different auxiliary sends for this sound. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to where it says destination and I'm going to crank this down until we see H1S1. And that stands for group H1 and the S1 stands for sound one. So it's now routing with this knob, we're routing a bit of this piano to that sound, which is just reverb. So watch as I turn this up.
we get more and more of this piano is getting sent to the reverb. Sounds nice. So let's leave that there. Let's hit group E1, which is my、uh, road sound. No reverb on it. Need some reverb. So again, if you're just looking at the regular window for this, you click the channel button. Make sure we're on output, and you'll see the the controls for that are way over here. So I go to the output, and then I scroll down on auxiliary one until I see group、uh, H1 S1, and I turn that up. Maybe I want a little less on this one. Then I go to the piano. This one's got lots of reverb. This one, not so much. If you see this post order right here, just one note on that.、Uh, that just means post fader, and you want to leave that set. If you have it on pre fader, then if you turn down the mix, you're still going to be sending a portion of this to the reverb. So just leave that on post. That is very important. There we go, and I can go to the next one as well and do the same thing. So let's have a look at this one right here. Here I've got two different samples, and if I click on this sound right here, I'm on the sound menu under this channel menu, and if I go to auxiliary one and I I route a portion of this sound here to this reverb, watch what happens when I go over here. This one is on the sound level, so it doesn't. It's not sending a portion. So not only can we send a portion of an entire group to an auxiliary send, we can actually just send a portion of each sound to our auxiliary send, which is pretty cool. So I can go over here, put lots of reverb on that one sound, and then this one I can go to auxiliary one, same thing, and then just send maybe a little bit less. A little bit more. There we go. So now we are on the sound level, sending a portion of sounds to an effect, which is pretty cool. Let's go over and see what we can do with this group. I showed you before that I put a reverb on sound one. Watch what happens if I click on sound two and then press Shift Browser again. And that's a weird one. Don't forget that Shift Browser. So that takes me back over to this option to put an effect right on this sound. So no, no sampler, no audio, no instrument, nothing, just an effect. So I, I click on this one, and then now let's go over to、uh, beat delay. So I hit load, and now I've got a beat delay on sound two. If we look over at the software, I can see I've got reverb on sound one,、uh, beat delay on sound two. Of my H group, which is just effects. I'm going to actually call this effects right now too. So let's call this effects, because that's my send effects group. So let's go over to the piano, and I click the channel button for that one, and I can see auxiliary one is my H1 S1. And now let's go over to auxiliary two and assign this to H1 S2, which is the beat delay. It's perfect. And now I crank this up, and we're sending a portion of this track to a delay. Crank it up. Okay, so I'll turn that down a little bit. Go back to my group. I need to make some changes on that that one right there. So I hit the plug-in button on my group, and I can see that on this delay, I think I need to crank up the feedback a little bit. So let's make that go a little bit farther. And then maybe the mix as well, and we'll leave it on three sixteenths. That's a, a nice value. Go back to my piano, hit the channel button, and make sure I am on. There's my piano. So there's my delay. Now I can really hear it. Cool. So now this one piano is sending a portion of its information. To auxiliary one, which is hooked up to my reverb, and then a portion of it is also going to the delay. So that's how we make a send effect in Machine. You have to make a group and then choose to either put the effect on sounds, on individual sounds, and then route your information to that sound, or you could put it on the entire group. So the thing that's cool about this is now I can go over to my mixer and. 
right now I want to see all of my groups in the mixer, so I'm just going to click on Group, and then click the mixer, and now I can see my drum kit and my effects right there. So I'm going to hold Solo and Solo the drum kit, and then I'm also going to unmute by holding the mute and press the effects. So now what I can do is go to my drum kit, go to the channel, and I can see auxiliary one. I'm going to set this one to the reverb, and then auxiliary two, I'm going to set that one to the beat delay. And then now I can start routing a portion of these drums to that reverb. And I can just press play and I can listen to it and hear both the drums and the effects at the same time because I have them soloed here. I've got B1 soloed and H1 soloed. So that's now going to the same reverb and delay that the piano is going to, and it's all made in the same spot. And again, like I said before, you could go over to this group now, and you could change the size of the room by going to the plugin and clicking on my sound, making sure I'm on the sound level, and I can see my reverb there. And now what happens is I can change the size of the reverb and the room for this entire song if each one of my groups is sending to that reverb. And that's one of the strongest points of using reverb as a send effect. And the truth is, the only send effects I'm ever really going to use is reverb and maybe sometimes delay. So I really recommend understanding send effects, figure out how to set it up for yourself, write down the steps, and then do that in the projects where it makes sense, where you have one reverb to go on the entire project. I know send effects are a confusing thing to understand, but hopefully that was helpful to you. And just hit that subscribe button and the like and all that. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.